guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing so great. Today we're going to start a new topic, present perfect continuous. So let's start. Present perfect continuous. The present perfect continuous is usually a connection with the present or now. We use the present perfect continuous to talk about past actions recently stopped and past actions still continuing. So, we're going to study both of them. Present perfect continuous for past actions just stopped. We use the present perfect continuous tense to talk about action that started in the past and stopped recently. There is usually a result now. Examples. I'm tired because I've been running. So, I'm tired, that is a recent action that started in the past. And I've been running is the result now. So, do you have here two things, right? The action that started in the past and the same action but that stopped recently, right? So, I'm tired here is the recent action and the result now is I've been running. Why is the grass wet? Has it been raining? So, why is the grass wet? That is now, right? And has it been raining? That's the action that started in the past, right? So, present perfect continuous for action continuous. now. We use the present perfect continuous tense to talk about an action that started in the past and is continued now. This is often used with and since. This is different, right? Because the action started in the past but still continue now. So, examples. I have been reading for two hours. So, in this sentence, the action started in the past but continue now. So, I am still reading now. So, We've been studying since 9 o'clock. The action started in the past. So, I started to study in the past, but the action continues now. So, we're still studying, right? Then we have the structure of the present perfect continuous tense is... Subject plus auxiliary have plus auxiliary be plus the main verb. So, in this tense, we need to use two auxiliaries, right? Remember that we can use have or has depends of the subject. You're going to use have with I, we, you, and they. And has with he, she, and it. And you have to conjugate it in the present simple, right? And the auxiliary B. You are going to use the second auxiliary in past participle. So, in this case, being right. And also, the main verb in present participle. So, Let's see an example. First, affirmative. I've been waiting for one hour. This is an affirmative sentence, so you need to have here first the subject I, then the first auxiliary, in this case have, then the second auxiliary that is been right in past participle 
in the main verb with the ing form waiting for one hour that it will be the complement so i have been waiting for one hour you have been talking too much so here the same right you have the subject the first auxiliary the second auxiliary the main verb with ing and also the complement then we have that negative form it has not been raining so in this case we have to use first the subject then you're going to use the first auxiliary in this case has because you're talking about third person singular right after that you have to write down the word not then the second auxiliary being and the main verb with ing so it has not been raining then we have we have not been playing football so also we have the subject the first auxiliary the word not the second auxiliary then we have the main verb with ing and also the complement and third, we have the interrogative. Have you been seeing her? This is a just no questions. So first, you have to write down the first auxiliary, have, then the subject, then the second auxiliary, been, and the main verb with the ing form, and also don't forget the question mark. So this is a just no question, so you will answer like this. Yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Also, where has she been working? This is a WH word. So first you have the WH word, then the first auxiliary has, in this case, because you're talking about she right that that is the subject then the second auxiliary being the complement in this case the verb with ing and question mark remember that you have to answer this kind of questions with a complete form so the answer will be she has been working at a hotel so that is the answer for a wh question then we have the contraction with person perfect continuous. I've been. I've been. You have been. You've been. He has been. He's been. She has been. She's been. It has been. It's been. John has been. John's been. The car has been, the car's been. So if you notice here in the first one, you have to make the construction between the subject and the first auxiliary. Then you're going to write down the second auxiliary, in this case, been, right? So when we use the present perfect continuous tense in speaking, we often contract the subject and the first auxiliary verb. Remember this. We also sometimes do this in informal writing. So, let's see some examples. I've been reading. Jenny's been helping us recently. So, if you notice here, you are making the construction between the subject and the first auxiliary. Then, in negative sentences, we may contract the first auxiliary verb and not. Let's see. I haven't been playing tennis. So, in this case, when it is a negative one, you have to make the construction between the first 
auxiliary verb with the word not. So I haven't been playing tennis or she hasn't been playing tennis. Here you have an example with third person singular. It hasn't been snowing. So you have to make the contraction between the first auxiliary have or has and the word not. So guys, that's all for today. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye.